You're signaling. What? You're signaling. Yeah, that twitch in your wrist gives away your attack. He's expecting it. Sorry. Couldn't help but notice. <sighs> Billy. Anything else? What? Was there anything else you couldn't help but notice? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, Alex Fryer. State champion, three years running, twice national semifinalist, probable contender for the next Olympics team. You're not the only one that notices things, Mr. Fryer. I'm Elena Carter. Hi. Listen, I didn't mean to sit in. Oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. My coach tells me the same thing. Swears I'll stay in the C division the rest of my life until I learn how to control that twitch. Winner of the fourth bout is... So? Any uh, other pointers from the next national champion? Alex! Get over here! This isn't over yet. Um, listen, how about uh, later, over coffee or something? Okay. Good luck. Hey, it's not a bad twitch. Think low, let him attack, then lunge. You got that? Knock him dead! That's it! National Championship. Trey Galvin versus Alex Fryer. Fencers ready? Ready. How do you think? Did you know him? Only in competition. He was one of the best. What happened was an accident. It wasn't your fault. No one blames you. You're not supposed to make me feel better? Maybe not now, but before you start blaming yourself. It took a lot of courage for you to come out here today. And I was hoping you would so I could say something. Sorry if I said too much. Tell you what Geishi did with a pair of these? Geishi? Friend of yours? No. Geishi was the greatest swordsman who ever lived. Sort of a freelance samurai. Anyway, Geishi was once hired by this village to protect them from nine bandits who are always bothering them. So the first thing he does when he gets to this village, he goes to the nearest Japanese restaurant. He lays his sword on the counter and he orders a bowl of rice. And in walk the nine bandits. And they surround him. Without saying a word, Geishi takes the chopsticks and goes. 
And he swats down nine flies. <laughs> so he finishes eating, sets down his bowl, and he looks around. Nine bandits are gone. And no one ever saw them again. <laughs> so is there any moral to that story? I guess once you know you're the best, you don't have to prove you're the best anymore. Or kill anyone. And find out if you are the best, Alex. You owe that to yourself. Talk to Richard and get back into competition. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I will. You should have called first. Right now, it's, it's not exactly a good time. Yeah, but I work here. I've uh, already talked to several experts about this. Luck? Richard, luck. I'm gonna be fine. Once people stop asking me how I feel while looking at me like I was... You need some time off. Look, I need this job. I want to be ready for the next competition. I, I need to do something or I will go crazy. Uh, look, I, I got, I got the, the school to think about, too. Our insurance is up for renewal. Oh, yeah, and it's hard to get coverage when you employ a psycho killer. Right? No, Alex, I didn't say that. Maybe it just comes down to saving your own goddamn reputation for coaching one. I think maybe we better go in the office. Why bother? You can fire me right here. making dinner, you know, to celebrate. There's nothing to celebrate. What do you mean? Didn't you talk to Richard? Yeah, I talked to him. Well, what did he say? What happened? <sighs> I quit. I was fired. So I walked out. I don't know. Alex, why? Because it's over. He doesn't want me back. Well, did he say that? It's finished. That's it. Look, I don't know what happened today, but you're not finished. There are other Sal's, and we could talk to my coach. Listen, I really don't need you feeling sorry for me right now. No, you're doing just fine by yourself. And I can take care of my own problems and my own life without you. Well, you could start by making your own dinner. Hey, Is this a private altercation, or do you allow spectators? Get the fuck back in your car, old man. Please, don't let me interrupt. Watch if you get a knife. So have I. Hey, 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 man. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. But it's usually best to face one's destiny. Don't you agree? I guess I'm supposed to thank you for saving my life, but I think it'd be best if you told me why you've been following me. Well, Alex, I've been following you for most of your career. I've always enjoyed watching you fight. That incident at the national finals, though, that was just an unfortunate accident. Who are you? Someone who wants to help you. Yeah, what makes you think I need your help? Oh, aside from just now. <laughs> Alex, I've seen what you can do, and I know what you're capable of doing. Yeah, what is that supposed to mean? Only that you're the best. Or you would have been. Your chance to prove it hadn't been aborted. I can give you that chance. Yeah. How? I 
have an establishment, a fencing site. I produce sword fighting exhibitions for some very rich and very special people. My fighters are well paid and very well trained. I'd like you to join them. Become one of the best. Yeah, well, I appreciate the offer, but I already got a coach and a job. Not at the moment, Alex. And I'd say that your current and future standing with the traditional fencing establishment appears <laughs> problematic at best. I think you followed the wrong guy. No, no. Alex, I think it's time for you to follow your destiny. Bring a steel, what's that? My club. Why don't you visit us tomorrow night? Bring your girlfriend, Elena. I think you'll find it very diverting. Hey, you didn't tell me your name. What are you doing here? I came back. I hate to waste food. Listen, I'm really sorry about tonight. Oh, my God, you're hurt. Uh, it's nothing. What happened? Oh, I'll tell you later. Do you want me to heat up dinner? Why are you doing all this? Isn't it obvious? What time is it? It's about eight. Oh, I gotta go. Ready for work? Oh, jeez. Here. You know, marketing is late for everybody's meeting, but if you're late for one of theirs, oh, get it. It's a nice day outside. You know, you really should get an alarm clock. Shoes, purse. You'll never believe what happened last night. No, I don't. No, I don't, I don't mean. Wait a second, you're not sorry, are you, about this? I mean, okay, maybe it happened a little fast, but you know, I didn't exactly anticipate it was gonna. You didn't see me twitch, did you? Mm. See, what are you doing tonight?
Where are we? Well, this is your dress. My name's Alex Fryer. I was given this card. Please, go right in. I'll let him know you're here. Thanks. Magic Megan. Elena, welcome. Lucky to meet my club manager. This is Tanya. Tanya, Alex, and Elena. Hello, Alex. Heard so much about you, I feel like I already know you. How do you do, Elena? Fine. Thank you. Alex, Elena, let me show you the rest of my club. Follow me. We hope to persuade Alex to join our little fighting style this evening. Fighting or fencing? Oh, fencing. That's such an artificial distinction. Don't you agree? It obscures the original purpose of the sport. Fencers. <laughs> fighters. I prefer fighters. Here we go. But they're not wearing any protection. Their choice. That's Jack. Our club champion. It's very good. So far, he's the best. I think Alex could do better. Alex. Ah! 
Say, Jack does get carried away sometimes. <laughs> I'd reason with him if there's anything to reason with. But you're different, Alex. You're smart. That's why I want you to come work for me. Is that legal? Oh, strictly speaking, no. But a few sporting wages on the side helps make an elite sport like ours commercially viable. See, our fighters are very well paid. We get the best of everything. Let me introduce you to them. Show the rest of our facilities. I'd like to go home now. Well, Elena, uh, at least allow me to buy you a drink. I'm sure they'll be back in a moment. Gentlemen, I can meet someone. It's Alex Fryer, a champion fencer. Alex, this is Brian. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Chuck. Hey, Chuck. Chris. Hey. And over here, we have our Schlager duelist. This is Hans. Hans. How do you do? Hans just arrived from Heidelberg, seeking fame and fortune in America. His specialty is the, uh... Saber. Saber. Hey, that's one of yours, too, isn't it? Yeah. See, my problem is I can't find anyone with the discipline or the classical training to match Hans. Uh, how much classical training do you need? Slice baloney. <laughs> See what I mean? That's Tony. You saw him fighting earlier. See, we take good care of our wounded. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Good, good. The fight looked really good. Uh, that's nothing. So, looks like you really get hurt out there. <laughs> you ever see a hockey game? That's nothing. Check this out. Oh, Tony. Oh, oh my shot, man. Look at this one. I get two just like that. Yeah, th that only proves you suck here. Hey. Look at this. Uh, and this is Jack. We also saw fighting earlier. Jack. Hey. Alex Fryer. You're the loudmouth asshole who interrupted my show. Good fight tonight, Jack. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> so, Alex, your defense? Hey, that's an idea. We have all the equipment. Maybe you can give Hans a workout. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Show us what you can do against on, classical Alex. training. What do you got to lose? On, give him a chance. Tell Alex I took a cab. Maybe you should tell him yourself. There is no scoring for conventional touches. You fight until one of you yields. Remember, gentlemen, this is entertainment. Fighters, ready? this fight.
You concede. Goodbye, Hans. Alice. For a moment there, I was afraid he didn't understand you. What if he had me? You needed any more encouragement. Well, I need yours. You gave me more than anyone. I couldn't have gotten through everything. I couldn't have done this without you. Okay, but let's not come back here again, okay? Oh. Well, you offered me a job. <laughs> a job? <laughs> Alex, what kind of a. You're not going to go back there again, are you? Of course I am. I'm going to be the best. Look. We just made up in the last 24 hours, and I'm not ready for another fight, okay? Let's see how you feel tomorrow, and we'll think of something. You wanna know what I'm thinking right now? Got into <laughs> you, Mr. Macho Sword Fighter. I am the pirate. <laughs> I always wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you told me? Ah! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Put me down. Are you winch? Prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Put me down. teach you to take advantage of your opponent's mistakes. They will teach you to avoid mistakes. And gentlemen, if you do not learn what they have to teach you here, I can guarantee you a much harder lesson inside the ring of steel. Now, there are a few rules. Now, number one, I decide who fights who and when. Number two, there is no fighting outside the ring of steel ever. And number three, inside the ring of steel, there are no rules. And only one objective, to win. That means there are no personal fouls, there are no technical infractions, and there are no accidents inside the Ring of Steel. Now, if anybody has a problem with any of this, they should leave now. Excuse me? Yes. What was the question again? <laughs> Great, another escapee from Wizards and Warriors. What's your name? I am Trevor, of the clan of Ravenhurst from the Shire of Pasadena, a chaotic, evil barbarian. I see. <laughs> Mr. Trevor. Uh, are you aware of the difference between fantasy role-playing and what we do here? Weren't you issued a practice weapon? I have sworn never to let Stormbringer leave my side. I see. I'll make it quick. Jack. Brian. Stand aside, sire. I shall dispatch this villain for thee. Trevor, you defiler of small furry woodland creatures, I am for you. Ah! Don't hurt him, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamu! <Jammu>. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, where's the sword? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Well, go ahead and laugh. Y'all be laughing out of the other side of your faces when I tell the cops what really goes on in this fucking place. Jack. Seen enough. I'm leaving. I'm not going anywhere, asshole. Jack is an effective, if somewhat overenthusiastic, teacher. Look, this is bullshit. You take it before I shove it down your throat. <laughs> I'll see. I was expecting you. No more games, damn it. I said, where is she? Gene, that's enough. <laughs> right. No more games. There is a lot at stake here, isn't there? A lot of money for you, for one thing. 
You know, your debut last night has created a lot of interest in our championship finals. The betting on your next spot is way up. And if you handle your next opponent half as well as you handle Jack, then I'm betting that you win. <laughs> what if you tell me, Elena? Oh, she's safe and sound, well provided for. Don't worry about her. Just put her out of your mind and concentrate on your next fight. I want to see her. Well, you will after the fight. You can't make me fight. Alex, I never force anyone to do anything. And for everyone's sake, I hope you extend to me the same courtesy. Now, we need to work together on this thing, Alex. I'm going to make you very rich. And you're going to be the best. And I don't have any choice. Is she all right? I give you my word. Now, Alex, I have something for you. Now, every fighter in the Ring of Steel has his choice of weapon. This is my personal collection. I want you to choose one. The Crusader Sword, the Japanese Katana, the Spanish Dagger. These blades have built empires. Just imagine, Alex, to conquer worlds, to live or die by one's own skill and courage. Is there a truer test of a man than to face another man with one of these? To resolve all conflicts, remove all doubts and complexities in a single stroke. Simplicity, perfection. These are not weapons, Alex. These are instruments of truth. <laughs> of course. The rapier and dagger. That is an original 17th century Pappenheimer. It belonged to Charles II of England. And now, it's yours. I'm leaving. Make yourself comfortable. Why are you doing this? I'm not. And I'm not crazy about having a roommate either. Why don't you just make the best of it? What do you plan on doing with us? Alex is going to do what he's always really wanted to do. He's going to get hurt, or worse. I wouldn't worry about Alex. I'm going to take really good care of him. Is your idea or his? I do as I please. I'm sorry about your friend. I had nothing to do with that. It's you I care about. Tanya, I appreciate your interest. But maybe you could just convince your friend to let me and my friend go. If I could do that, I would. He's a dangerous man, Alex. Don't underestimate him or what he's asking you to do. I don't want you hurt. I want to help. Look, this isn't helping. I think you should go now. Don't be silly. Hey, Jack. How about we go get a beer or something? What do you say? Huh? We can... Jack. Oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? Jack! Jack! I'm gonna straighten you out, 
bitch. You ain't got the guts. What's going on here? I said no fighting outside the ring ever! They weren't fighting. As you can see, it was just a disagreement uh, about the sword. Was that Charles II or Charles III? Can you fight? Yeah. Get him downstairs to the ring. What was that all about? Don't you ever disobey me again. Not ever do you understand me. I'm gonna kill him. Well, you better hope you haven't already. <sighs> hey, are you gonna be okay? <coughs> yeah. You said, you said, well, oh, you don't understand. Now, look, now stay with me on this, Alex. By winning this match, you are now a contender for the championship title. This is your chance to be the best. Besides, you don't want to disappoint those fans and just rain money on you, do you? Forget it. Look, I'm not fighting. Three more bouts, finals in three days. No way. Alex, you've already made your choice. Then let her go. I wish it was that simple. I really do. But unfortunately, I gotta make sure that you'll cooperate, and also that there's no outside interference between now and the final match. <laughs> well, you understand? Boys? No, no, Alex! Damn you, let her go! Alex! <laughs> 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 Ron, don't hurt him! Alex, just three more bounce, that's all! Alex! You get her out of here! Gentlemen, there's nothing illegal about what we do here. There's no law against playing music, and no law against serving drinks, with our license, of course, and there's no law against exhibitions of traditional swordplay downstairs. How about gambling? Well, what am I supposed to do about an occasional side bet, humans being what they are? <laughs> you know, in the Super Bowl, World Series, don't y'all have a little office pool? Huh? Anybody ever get hurt during these, uh, exhibitions? Well, uh... My men are trained professionals, but they use real swords. But we have a house doctor, and we carry an awful lot of insurance. Anybody ever been killed? Well, if they were, you'd be the first to know, wouldn't you, Lieutenant? Have you ever seen this guy before? 
Well, I'm afraid our bouncer would never allow anybody to look like that through the front door. Computer programmer slash barbarian. Seems he was also involved with a couple of bizarre groups on the side. I acted out medieval battles and stuff. His wife reported him missing yesterday. Oh, I see. She said he'd heard about this new club where they take this stuff real serious. Now he left for this address, never came back. Yeah. Camper found him in a ravine up in Los Padres this morning. The coroner said he was beaten pretty badly around the head. Yeah, may have been rocks. He also had this real big hole right through his liver, made by a big knife. Or a sword. Gentlemen, I'm more than happy to have you come by and watch any of our exhibitions. That'll help your investigation. Would you like to come tonight? You know of any other places where uh, a guy like this could live out his fantasies and uh, dress up like a barbarian? In Los Angeles. Uh, could be anywhere. Yeah! <laughs> Got something for you. Jack is not my boyfriend. Yeah, well, he seems to think so. Jack has a lot of delusions. I choose who I want. So when I saw you in the ring last night, I wanted you. Tanya, um, maybe you should find someone as up to your speed. I want to find Elena. You make me feel a little cheap, Alex. Throwing myself at you like this while you keep pushing me away. Where's Alex? Great. Maybe I could help you. First, you have to do some things for me. Just take me to her. Don't be stupid. Tell me where she is. You're crazy. Take me to her. No, Alex, stop it. Am I interrupting something, or is this deja vu all over again? Jack's on his way. Or not again. Yeah. That Tanya's a real tease. Wait a sec. You are so lucky I'm your friend. This is a great idea. Come on. Jack! Where have you been? Jack! Uh, you remember Alex? Well, he just made improper advances to your woman again. And he'd like to challenge you to another round in the ring. Uh, uh, uh. You know the rules. No fighting outside the ring. Got it. Oh, that was taken care of. Hey, fuck! <laughs>
said you guys got a sense of humor. Uh, I really appreciate that. I love it. You're a joke. Uh, in the meantime, back to business. Uh, I believe you two gentlemen issued a challenge for Alex to fight in the next bout. <laughs> is that, was that right? Tanya said about you. You will fight who I say and when I say. We got in this thing. All right, uh, I'll stab you and you die. No, 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 you die. I don't want to die. If you're ready to end this thing, you die. Well, it's your idea with a chicken. All right, I'll die. Okay. Yeah. Oh, are you okay? 
How are they treating you? Where are they keeping you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm at Tanya's. Not a lot of variety on the menu, though. I eat a lot of pizza. They're favorite. Look, just two more fights and they'll let us go. Alex, do you really believe that? I have to. He gave me his word. But how can he keep it? Don't you realize what they've done? Kidnapping, extortion? Alex, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I'll get us out of this. I will. I promise. It's his all right. You know, you'd think a real barbarian would at least drive American. How far away is that club? Well, it's about two blocks. Get a stake out on it. Get out of here. During finals? I don't think they'll like that. I don't have any choice. Hey, that's why you said you had to be here. No, I'm here because they're holding my girl. They're making me do this. And because you killed somebody. Yeah, that, that was an accident. <laughs> Look, everybody here says it was an accident. There's no accidents in the ring. This wasn't in the ring. This was some stupid fencing competition. Don't you read the papers? You mean... You've never fought in a club like this before? No. Isn't that obvious? No. I... Well, not until tonight. <laughs> so now what happens if I do stick around and win? Well, uh, you become club champion instead of Jack. Unless you lose. Either way, if I want to leave after that. Either way, I don't think that'll be an option. I just want to find Elena and get out of here. Will you help me? So I get your sword? <laughs> well, I guess that leaves me to finish off old Jack. Hey, it'll be worth it. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? Oh, I already told you I have no choice. Let's just say that uh, I've had a few accidents in the ring. Uh, what we gotta do is make a plan for you. Uh, let's see, finals are tomorrow night, and it's me, you, and Jack. Probably you and Jack first, since you won our fight. Um, I know a way out of here. Through the tunnels. So before the fight, we climb down into the ring. Would you go down? Coffee? I could kill him without this. Okay, you still can. But you'll have to get him before the juice does. There. Jack's gotta leave early because he's moonlighting in Strippendales. 
<laughs> John, Alex, Brian, just drop by to wish you both the best of luck in the finals. We already flipped the coin aside, which of us will win? <laughs> well, first of all, there's a matter of one of you defeating the current champion. And after last night's bout, Brian, you're ahead on technical points, so you'll fight Jack first. You mean tonight? Yeah, right now. Your fans are waiting. Better hustle. Now, Alex, I want you to join me up in the stands. That way you can scout out your next opponent, okay? Shall we? Big money. <laughs> Alex. Oh, Jack, what brings you here? Um, generations of inbreeding? Waited a long time. Well, you should have gone before you left the house.
think you'll be able to fight? The more relevant question is, will you? You push me, old man. When this is over, I'm calling the shots around here. Well, Lieutenant Taylor, what brings you back? Just wanted to see what goes on around here during the day. Uh, thought you might want to join our little fencing cell. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there you are. Oh, yeah. Looks like pretty good exercise. You're breaking this concentration. Oh, yeah. Would you like some coffee to go with that? You have any decaf? I'm trying to cut down. Sure. Come on. condition for that fight. So it'll look good when you have me killed. Like you did Brian, right? Alex, there's something you don't understand here. There's a lot more at stake than just one fight. Now, Jack is a loose cannon. He's threatening everything. Now, I promise you the chance to be the best, and I'm giving it to you tonight against him. And if you win, I can promise you much, much more. Why don't I just kill you instead? Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe you can just walk right out of here, huh? Maybe you can find Elena, and maybe you can go home and live happily ever after. Or maybe there's someone else you'd rather kill. I get some rest, Alex. I'm leaving. It's Alex's big night. I'll say hello for you. What are you gonna do to us after this is all over? Make sure you clean up the mess when you're finished. Don't wait up. You wanna order Chinese? Twitch, did you? Nine one one, this is an emergency. Hi, 
guys. No English? We're gonna get along just fine. Let her go. He slept with him, didn't you? No. He's still twice the man you are.
of yours want to be a pirate. Alex. Outside the ring. Well, Alex, you certainly proved that you are the best. <laughs> I'm gonna need a man like you to help me in my new club. Both of you. Follow me. I can show you a way out. Not this time. Alex, the man should always face his destiny. No. Well, next time then. about by the greatest swordsman who ever lived. Whatever finally happened to him? I think he retired and went to sporting goods. Still with me here? Huh? 